Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Keep back here with a helpful hint to help you access your class link and your school email. As you know, most of your teachers are beginning to contact you about what your classes will be looking like online for the next few weeks. Most of those teachers are going to contact you through your school email, but I know a lot of you don't really use that very often and might not remember how to get into it, if you've ever used it at all. So, this is just a quick tutorial to help you show you how to do that. Now, the first thing you need is, obviously, to be online. You can do this through your phone, or you can do it like I am, through a laptop. It works either way, um, as long as you are online. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, ignoring my screen for a minute, is you're going to go to polkschoolsfl.com. P-O-L-K-S-C-H-O-O-L-S-F-L dot com. And this is what you'll see. You'll see this big banner at the top, and then this. Okay. You should see where it goes to students, and if I hover on students, or if you're on your phone, you might need to click on it. On your laptop, you'll see all these choices. If you're on your phone, you might only see a small segment of the choices. But either way, you should see class link for students right here. You're going to click on that. What's then going to come up is a login page. On the login page, you use your student login that you always use at school, followed by the at sign, mypolkschools.net. Okay, so your username, and then the at sign, and then mypolkschools.net. That's after you click the class link, this is how you log in. Your username is the username plus the at mypolkschools.net and then underneath it it's your usual password whatever you usually use to log into your school computers if you're not sure about that you can text me or um, send me a message on remind and I will be able to tell you what your login is once you've logged in you will see something that looks like this okay now yours might look slightly different than mine because I'm logged into the teacher and obviously you'd be logged into the students, but you should see all kinds of different apps here. Now your teachers are going to be using all kinds of different apps from Moodle maybe, through your textbooks, okay? Now through OneDrive maybe to submit work, here's what you need for right now. If you scroll down, about halfway down your page you should see Outlook Online. Okay, that's your email. That's your school email. Click on that. It will ask you to log in, possibly. It's the same login you just used. And um, it may ask you to set your time zone. We are in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. Then you click OK, and the next thing you'll see is something that looks like this. Now, mine has pretty crayons because I've set it up that way. Yours might look slightly different, but you'll see something that looks a lot like this. Okay? So, that's how you log in. Those are the steps. If you need more help, you can, or if you get stuck, feel free to contact me and I will walk you through it. All right? But once you get into your email, you're going to see all kinds of messages from your teachers telling you, hey, for science class, I want you to go in to ClassLink and I want you to use Google Suite or whatever. Okay? They will walk you through all of that. But that's how you get into ClassLink and it's how you get into your school email. Thank you guys. As usual, I am proud of how hard you are working on this. You have been doing a great job. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you soon.